In this video, I'm going to share two of the recently asked questions on Java 8. Hey everybody, this is JIB. Let's start the video. The first question we have is, what is the string joiner which is introduced in Java 8 and what is the use of it? So there is one class which is string joiner which is introduced in Java 8 recently. And this class is a part of util, java.util package. In this class, we have various methods like string joiner, set empty value, merge, add, length. Basically, when you create this the object of this class you have to pass a delimiter you can pass comma and whenever you add some string into this string joiner all the strings will be comma separate so let me just explain this to you with the help of example i will create a string joiner called tire one and in the tire one i will add various cities like mumbai Kolkata Chennai. So whenever I try to print this tire one object, I will get all the values and the, all the all the values are comma separated. And instead of comma, if I give any delimiter like space, all the values will be space separated as you can see here. So there are some methods of string joiners like add is there, then merge is there, set empty value is there. So these are also very useful. So for example, if I create one more string joiners i will copy all this code here and name it tire2 and i will add some more values like jaipur bhopal chandigarh pune and if i do tire1 dot merge tire2 so all the values from tire2 will be merged inside the tire1 so if i print tire1 i will get all the values as you can see here i am getting all the values all the values are merged so this is the string joiner Another question we have is calculate the total of all the numbers in a list using Java 8. So you have a list and you need to calculate all the numbers, all the integers inside that list. So this is also very simple question in which first I will create a list. So I will create a list of integers and I will give some values like 2, 5, 7, 4, 9, 12, 90, something like that. And then I will create a variable called list. And to get the sum of the element inside this list, I will use stream API. And so here we have a stream of integers. That means it is kind of work as an object, but we need we need to use them as a uh, primitive data. So what I will do, I will use a method called map to int, and inside that I will convert all the elements into integer elements into int. Which, which means primitive data types and then there's a method called sum I can use the sum and uh, I will store the sum in a variable I will name this variable sum and after that I will print the sum here so if I run this program it should print the sum so as you can see it is printing the sum of all the so these are very, very two basic questions which are asked in the recent interview I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thank you for watching.